remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Following the U.S. bombing near Baghdad International Airport that killed General Qasem Soleimani, the high-profile commander of Iran's secretive forces, Iran's supreme leader, has vowed revenge. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei tweeted, The flag of General Soleimani in defense of the country's territorial integrity and the fight against terrorism and extremism in the region will be raised and the path of resistance to U.S. excesses will continue. The great nation of Iran will take revenge for this heinous crime. Donald Trump, your president, responded by tweeting, General Qasem Soleimani has killed or badly wounded thousands of Americans over an extended period of time and was plotting to kill many more, but got caught. He was directly and indirectly responsible for the death of millions of people, including the recent large number of protesters killed in Iran itself. While Iran will never be able to properly admit it, Soleimani was both hated and feared within the country. They are not nearly as saddened as the leaders would let the outside world believe. He should have been taken out many years ago. See, Trump? Back in the day, you know, before social media and we could get stuff in real time, you could have used your PR hitmen like CNN and Fox News and all that stuff to take out your message and do your bidding. But see, those phones tell the story now. We can go live and show what the people in Iran thinks of their leaders. We're looking at it live. Anybody that got a problem with it could easily just, boom, show you the reaction, show you people celebrating the death. Now, of course, that wouldn't be hard to do either because America could easily get a group of people and pay them off and say, hey, we need y'all to celebrate his death. We need y'all to get excited like you're glad he did. We need y'all to say some things. We're going to pay y'all X amount of dollars. That's not very hard to do. But family, don't be fooled. Those people love dude. Don't be fooled. Okay? Been drinking the Kool-Aid long enough. They've been getting away with this long enough. Don't be fooled. They say this beef between Trump and the general actually originated back in 2018 when Donald Trump put out a tweet uh, attacking or trying to assassinate the character of Iran's then president. They was going back and forth uh, making threats against each other. So Trump you know, he's in a position where now they're like, man, now is the time to strike. We got to win this war. You know, we got to we gotta start a war. We got to win this election. So now is the time to strike. And y'all know, those people ain't bluffing. Now, what was interesting, I don't know how old this recording was. But I saw a recording on T.I.'s page, on his Instagram, where one of the leaders in Iran was saying that we don't hate Americans. We hate American leadership. We don't want to bring harm to Americans. We want to bring harm to the leaders, specifically the ones who are out here pulling the strings. I guess if somebody going to bring harm to somebody, I'm a big proponent of getting at the person who you got a problem with. It's like a person who go in and uh, he got a problem with the boss fired him. He go in and 
just start popping up everybody in the whole office. People who ain't had nothing to do with it. You got that big of a problem, the boss did you wrong, you and the boss, y'all settle it. See, I tell you what, if those beef was being settled uh, individually, head up, you wouldn't see these politicians and these, pre these presidents jumping up talking about, oh yeah, go ahead, strike them. Drop the bomb on them. You wouldn't see that. You definitely wouldn't see it as much at all because number one, they can't fight. Most of them are like old and wrinkled up. You know, they can't fight. So they wouldn't be starting those wars. Something that, and, I, and I would I would put up probably besides, no, nah, Barack would get his, he would have got his hat brought to him too. I was about to say besides Barack, I really can't see any of them uh, uh, former presidents winning no fights, no fist fights. But no, nah, they couldn't win because those dudes, uh, like in those, especially those Middle Eastern countries, they're trained in the art of combat, like hand-to-hand -hand combat and, uh, you know, weapon combat. You know, them boys is trained for real. They trained to fight and survive. So I don't think any U.S. president could whoop uh, a Middle Eastern president head, head up. Nah, not even they, not even their old presidents. Them dudes trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, I, I don't believe that U.S. would stand a chance. Any U.S. leaders would stand a chance. You know, all those guys, man. Even the, the governors and stuff, like the, the Congress people, they all fat and out of shape. Them dudes, they can't fight. You know, but they can run their mouth. They can make threats. They can send everybody else out on dummy missions. They can send your children out on dummy missions to get, get their head knocked off, get their noodles knocked. But they're not going to send their kids off. Their kids are going to be laying low in a bunker. They're going to be chilling. So when they start talking about revenge, hey, man, leave us out of it. We ain't did nothing to you. I'm with Ali on this. Ain't no Iranian ever called me no nigga. Deny me my rights. Yeah, I ain't got no problem with them people. None whatsoever. And I ain't got no problem with the Iranian people either. Why should everybody else die? Why should everybody else lives be at stake because Donald Trump won't engage in a pissing contest because he got a war of words and he, you know it's, it reminds me of the Bush thing when Bush went to war he Bush got on TV and said well you know and you know he was talking about Saddam Hussein well you know he he threatened to kill my daddy he's gonna go out and get tens of thousands of people killed because he threatened to kill your daddy these personal little beefs and thousands, hundreds of thousands of people die with these dudes with their little petty beefs. Nah, y'all got a problem? You got Trump? You got a problem with them boys over there? You go over there and fight them. I bet you ain't going to do that. But he tough. Tough guy. It's easy to start a fight when you don't have to worry about getting hit. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.